Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's One Magic, and I am here with a really quick story time. I just want to tell you guys a little story. I'm actually driving down the highway right now, but this just came to mind, and I was like, how I ain't told them that yet? Like, really? Anywho, so this is a story about highway love. Like, I really could have found, like, I think I might have drove by my soulmate. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's possible, you know? <sighs> so, what happened was, I was, okay, so if you're new to my channel, I live in Charleston, South Carolina. And I was headed to Columbia, South Carolina for my brother's graduation, his college graduation. And it was a Saturday. And this graduation was at 9 a.m. So, we had to leave, like, hella early um, to get there by 8 to get seating. Yeah, so it was a situation. Um, so what I did was I went to the gas station on my way out. Now, mind you, I was not alone in the car. I had my beautiful children with me. And I had my nephew with me. And this guy pulled up. Okay, so first of all, I went in the gas station. We got lots of snacks and stuff. Came back to the car. Paid for the gas. As I was pumping gas, this car pulled up behind me, right? I know cars pretty well. It was a Pontiac Crossfire, I believe, like two-door sports car type of scenario. And it was super cute. So I was like looking at his car like, well, dang, that's a nice car. You know, I didn't know who was driving it because the bright lights was in front of me in my eyes. So I couldn't see the person behind the wheel. And I didn't really even care who was driving it. I was more so concerned with, you know, checking out the car. And to who, um, I continued to put my gas in this drop of cho chocolate, dark chocolate. Stepped out of the car with a FedEx uniform on, long pants, not shorts, don't do it. And um, he had like a head thing on, I don't know, head like phone, microphone thing on. And he went, oh gosh, into the gas station. But when he walked by me, he was like, good morning how are you and I was like hey I'm doing well he was like great good to know or something like that I can't remember word for word or some random like that it was just extra conversation not like a hey being nice so I was like oh the FedEx man I got in the car and I was like oh the FedEx man was so nice to me and my kids were like uh who is this FedEx man you know and I was like you know calm down pipe it on down FedEx man was being nice but whatever so I left you know and went on home and went on down interstate 26 to head to Columbia oh my gosh you guys would not understand what the hell's going on over there excuse me something's happening I'm being nosy I'm being nosy anyway so, you would not believe what happened as I was driving down Interstate 26. Why? Oh my God, did the Dollar General catch on fire? Sorry, guys. I was driving down Interstate 26, and why did this Pontiac Crossfire come behind me? Oh my God. I was like, is he following me? Is this my soulmate? Is this the man of my dreams behind me? And it was him, y'all. It was it was him. It was FedEx from the gas station. And I was like, oh my God, look at FedEx. So FedEx passed by me. Like, and then he got in front of me and he put his blinkers on and he was like bling 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 bling. So I saw him and I was like, oh my God, that is FedEx from the gas station. Sure enough. And he just like took off and I was like, oh my God, he took off. Let him go. Let him go. I'm not going to, you know, I don't know him. I can't call him and be like, hey, wait, wait, wait. So he took off and like when I got to the next exit, I kept going because it wasn't my turn to get off. But I could, even though he was far up, I could see him veering off and you know, I could still see him in the mist. Y'all, how about I pass by the exit? FedEx was on the side of the road with his blinkers on. Boop, boop. I was like, oh my God, was I supposed to get over? Did I, 
Was I supposed to take the exit? Like, I didn't get the class on Highway Love. Like, I don't know what was supposed to happen. So, I very well could have missed out on an opportunity to meet Mr. FedEx, man of my dreams. Like, I feel awful about that, guys. I don't know. I want you guys to tell me, that has that ever happened to you? Is this like a code? Like, if you see somebody blink you, you're supposed to pull over. I don't know, dude. Dude probably would have been crazy. I don't know. Guys, I want you to comment down below if this has ever happened to you. What would you have done? Would you have pulled over and followed dude? Like, I didn't know him. I don't know if he was crazy. I don't know anything about him. Like, I was, like, really... I was happy to get the attention from him. But then at the same time, I was like, I don't really know you, bruh. I don't know you. I don't know. But I thought about it all day long. I was like, I hope I see FedEx. Oh, gosh. I hope I see FedEx again. I guess if it's meant to be, I will see him again. But you guys, comment below if you've ever been in a situation. Comment below and let me know how would you handle the situation if it was you. And thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this story time. If you want me to do more, I got stories for days. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.